How's it going guys, it's your boy Mr. Infinity1495 back again with another Marvel video. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe so I can keep you guys entertained. Also don't forget to check out my socials at Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Today I will be reviewing Hawkeye series episode 5. We are so close to the finale so let's get cracking. So in there, last episode we left with an insane confrontation between Clint, Maya, Kate, and an unknown assassin. Kate Bishop had the chance to kill the assassin but she doesn't do it. And there and then the assassin was revealed to be, Yelena Bell over, Natasha Romanoff's sister. AKA the sister of the Black Widow. It's cool to see the Hawkeye series cross with the Black Widow film, as in the post credit scene in the Black Widow movie. We see Yelena mourning at the grave of her late sister, then the camera turns showing a woman next to her called Valentina. Valentina is a secret operative who we saw in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And Valentina accused Clint of killing Natasha causing Yelena to hunt him down. This episode really had an emotional twist as Clint and Kate decide to go their separate ways due to the fact that a Black Widow assassin, Yelena Bell over is hunting them down. Obviously Clint doesn't know about her being Natasha's sister so he's on full reconnaissance mode. My reaction to Clint going through this alone makes me really annoyed as Kate, without Clint's protection can get hurt or even killed by the assassin. But hey, we know the Yelena we love, so Yelena decides to have a civil conversation with Kate over some cooked box macaroni. The sound of boxed macaroni makes me feel sick, but I guess it doesn't for Yelena as she literally drowns it in hot sauce. Florence Pugh really mastered the character and her Russian accent. Normally it will make me on edge watching a scene where a master assassin is talking to an experienced teenager, but Florence Pugh and Haley Stinfield created good chemistry between the characters. They talk like they're in good relations, when in reality they both hate each other. What's funny is that Yelena doesn't accept that Kate could have shot her dead in the head when they first fought on that roof. During Yelena and Kate's conversation, Clint visits Natasha's memorial as he says a quick speech before challenging Maya Lopez aka Eka to a battle. Clint puts on the Ronin suit and takes down the track suit mafia who were protecting Maya. Then we see a cool scene where Ronan appears challenging Maya. Ronan and Maya had a sick battle where Clint as Ronan wins. Maya is on the floor while Ronan reveals himself as Clint. I was shocked to see that Clint literally exposed himself to Maya. He tells her that her boss hired him to kill her father. This obviously makes Maya pissed off and she attacked Clint and she almost kills him until Kate saves him. The end of the episode stuns the audience as Yelena sends a picture to Kate showing who hired her. It was her mother Eleanor Bishop and famous criminal entrepreneur, Fisk the Kingpin. The visual and audio effects of this episode really give me chills. Especially with the new, Ronan soundtrack that is included in this series. Florence Pugh acting as Yelena was probably the highlight of this episode, and I can't wait to see her again in the season finale. For now this has been your boy Mr. Infinity 1495, and until next time.